Hello YouTubes, this is going to be a lecture about C strings, arrays, and file input and output. C string file IO. Gonna make a new main. I'll start by making a hello world program just to check that my compiler is working correctly. this wrong. Let's see if this compiles. Yep, looks like it's working. So I'm going to start by explaining arrays. Uh, first let's come up with a reason to have some arrays. I'm going to make a simple program here that finds the average of some numbers. Int num1, num2, num3, num4, and I will type them in one at a time. print out their sum. So let's see if this program runs. One, two, three, five. One plus two is three, three plus three is six, six plus five is eleven. Looks right to me. This program here, it uses a whole bunch of variables of the same type and for pretty much the same purpose. That's why I've named them all relatively the same thing. And to keep it more organized in my head, I've simply given them numbers afterwards so that I, I can differentiate between each one. Well, another way that I could do this is using an array. If I wanted to make an array that handles this, I would make an array called num, and it would have four elements in it. And instead of using num1, it would access element zero of the array followed by element 1, element 2, let me just change this a bit, and element 3. Num element 0 replaces num1, num1 replaces num2, num2 replaces num3, and num3 replaces num4. So this will allow me to enter values for every element in the array and if I wanted to print them out, I would have to write code that looks like this. And let's put more code in one spot here. All right, now this code should run in exactly the same way as the old code. Three, four, seven, nine. 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 7 is 14, 14 plus 9 is 23. So this is working as well. Here, int num4, this right here, this right here makes an array that has four elements in it. And, and again, just to reiterate, I can access every individual element like this. This is the array index right in here and these square brackets indicate which index in the array I'm looking for. This is an example of a static array and with a static array I have to have a constant number in here which means that every single time I run this code it has to use 4 as the array size. If I wanted to make the program uh, accept a different number of numbers each time I would have to use something different. For example I would not be able to do something like this int count see out how many numbers do you want to add see in count count this I couldn't do in most compilers there actually are some compilers that will allow you to do this but you shouldn't do it because those compilers aren't standard when they act this way if I tried to run this code it would tell me that I can't have an unknown size, I have to have a constant size of my num array, which means I could do something like this, const int count equals 4 or 10, 
but if this is constant, I can't change the number. So when you have a static array declaration, you have to make sure you give it a static number as its size. If you want the size to be different or dynamic, you have to do what's called a dynamic array declaration. And that would look like this. Now this code will compile. It'll make the count integer variable. I'll be prompted for the variable. I'll type it in and then it'll create a new array and I can use that array and this code will only use the first four elements of it and then once I'm done I would have to delete it like this. Whenever you new, whenever you allocate data, I need to free the allocated data. So I'm going to show you that this works, although I'll only be able to use it with four numbers. It's going to ask me how many numbers I want to add. I'll just say six, and then one, two, three, four. One plus two plus three plus four is ten, which is correct. But I asked for six numbers, and it didn't give me all six. It's because this code is very explicitly only using four of them. If I run it again and I do two, it's still going to use four of them. One, two, three, four. And now it crashes on me. It tells me heap corruption detected. And the reason that happened is because count was given two. It created an array that was only too big, but it ended up giving data to four elements. So it did what we call a buffer overflow or a buffer overrun, where the data was written outside of the boundary of the array and then it ended up being added correctly because it was written correctly outside of the boundary but then when I went to free that data the computer discovered oh no the programmer has accidentally written outside of the boundary of this array that's really bad I need to make sure that he knows about it let me be as loud and obnoxious as I can about it so that the programmer knows there's a problem that there's a mistake that he needs to take care of that's actually a really good thing you want your computer to be very noisy about every mistake that you make. It ends up helping you a lot in the long run because the sooner you know that you have a problem, the sooner you can fix it. So let's fix this problem. Let's make it so that the amount of input is equal to the number of elements in this array. And I will do that like this. For int i equals zero, while well, i is less than count plus, plus i, and c in num i. This right here will give the console an opportunity to put data into every single element of the array using CN. Then I'll need to have a extra variable to store the sum in. Adding all the elements from the array will look a lot like this. I'll go through, oh, I spelled total wrong. I'll go through all of the elements in the array. and add each one to the total. This right here plus equals means total equals total plus num i. This does the same thing right here. So now instead of printing out this, I will print out the total and run it and see what my code looks like. I want seven numbers. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Oh, there we go. 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10. That looks right to me. You keep track of how big the array is in an additional variable and carry that variable around with you whenever you deal with the array so that you know how many elements are accessible. One very common kind of array that programmers deal with is a C string. This right here, for example, is a C string. I could do this char star pointer to a C string. And do that. Now it'll print out this message because pointer to a C string points at this array here. If I run that, it'll compile, it'll print out just like we expected. This right here, char star, is a pointer to a single character, but an array is actually several characters in a row. So if you're pointing at one character, 
it's actually not that difficult just to assume that immediately following that character is a whole bunch of other characters. You want to keep around how large that array is so that you know how many elements there are in the array because if you don't, you could end up doing a buffer overflow or a buffer overrun. I'll show you how you can find the size of any C string in a minute, but first I want to show you that you can treat arrays as pointers just like I'm treating this C string right here as though it were a pointer and assigning it to a pointer. I can do this, int star pointer to array equals num and now I can do something like this and this code will run exactly the same because here I add elements to the num array and here I add elements from the num array into total and it says pointer to array but a pointer does not duplicate an array, a pointer merely references the exact same location as another variable, or in this case, another array. This, by the way, would work if I made a static array as well. If I did something like this, const int count equals 10, This code will execute as well. All of this code will work just like it should, except because I'm using a static array, I had to use a constant integer for its size, and a constant integer can't have its value altered, so I just commented all this code out so that it wouldn't give me any errors. Let me just show you that it would right there. Well, right here, it's not allowed to modify the constant. That's why we get these red lines. Anyway, let me just compile this to show you that it works going to read 10 variables because that's the size of count and down here pointer to array is going to be accessing the exact same array that num is so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 oh what happened here block type is invalid uh, debug assertion failed actually that happened because of this delete because num is a static array and here I'm trying to delete num, and that's not allowed. You can't delete a static array. You can only delete a dynamic array. And again, a dynamic array looks like this, equals new int. And I forgot to start here. Okay, so everything should be working. I'm going to get rid of some of this code 